when I saw the movie, um, you know, I just get a real buzz when I see shows like that because Hamish is one of my friends and, and you and, you know, and just recognising so many. Dave um, Thornton has an appearance. Like, yeah, I just yeah, loved yeah. it when people would, would pop up. But yeah. um, I, it really connected with me because I'm super close to my mum and just the relationship that you had with your daughters. And I, I found it so emotional and I was really surprised how you know it was so funny but I also at the end of it came up to you and sobbed like a baby into your <laughs> you know into your shoulder which you were saying has been the reaction of a lot of people. It's funny it's and I think it's on different levels I think yeah. some people feel really emotional because of the mother-daughter connection because it is really powerful. It's so powerful yeah. And I think also like one woman came out afterwards and she's wiping tears away. I didn't know her. So she couldn't sob on my shoulder in the same way. She's wiping tears away. She said, oh, I don't know why I'm crying. It's so yeah. stupid. I don't know why I'm crying. She said, I just, she's a middle-aged woman, this woman. Right. She said, I just, um, I just didn't realise how much that movie would speak for me. Wow. And I just thought, well, that's an appalling indictment on our industry, isn't mm. it? That you're crying because for once you heard your voice represented. Mm. Um, I mean, it's also incredible, but it's funny, someone often from our team quickly goes to the toilet afterwards so they hear women go into oh, the toilet great. and there are always oh, women wow. crying in the toilet. Wow. But it's a funny film, like it's an uplifting yes. film. And it leaves you, like the other night we had a screening and I heard, I was walking out behind someone saying, oh, I feel better now. You know, like wow. it, 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 it is uplifting, but there's something that tugs at you that's quite deep, which mm. I bloody love. Oh, absolutely. If I can make you laugh and cry and yeah. think, man, my work here is done. I'm super it's, happy with that. It's a, such a powerful movie for women and young girls. But also when I got home, I said to Sam, it's a great one for men too. Yeah. In a part, of, a really powerful part is when you stripped off. And a, a real woman's, it almost makes me emotional now thinking Aww. about it. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Um, but you, and I just remember when I looked at you, um, standing up there just thinking how vulnerable you would have been with, and this is a body that has grown two babies. And, and, and it made me so proud, but also so sad for that reason of going, this is the first time I've seen a real body on television in a long time, if yeah. ever. Yeah. You know, and you did that. I know. And it's terrible. I mean, that's so great. That is such a beautiful response. And I'm so glad to hear you say that because what are we meant to be? Yeah. We can't be that version that we see that's not true. What mm. is the expectation? Yeah that we're living up to, it's not real, and we're all gonna go mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not okay, it's just, I got a shock sometimes when I saw myself with those lines on my face, because you don't see women on the screen with lines on their face, because everybody's yeah. which is, well, I was gonna say it's fine, and it is fine, and I say whatever works for whatever, whatever your choice is, but the fact is, Ultimately, it's not really your choice. Ultimately, someone else is dictating your choice. Ultimately, yeah. we're all saying, we're all conspiring, going, yeah, but we'll just tidy ourselves up. If I read another article where someone says, I hit 40 and I was totally happy with the way I looked, but I just felt like I need a little freshen up. And I think, well, let's go back to the totally happy with yourself. Yeah. Let's just even just leave that bit out then and just yeah. go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I felt insecure. Yeah. I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt like I couldn't present to the world. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. It does feel vulnerable to get your gear off in many different ways in that. I really revealed myself mm. in that film. I, I reveal myself in that film. And now I'm really used to it and I'm really glad. And the funny thing is there's a period, there's a thing in the film, I don't want to do any spoilers, but lots of people take clothes off. And when we were actually shooting it, it, it was, everybody felt vulnerable. Yeah. Men, women, everybody felt vulnerable. And I knew that and I thought, okay, I'm going to have to be the one that leads the charge here. So when we yeah. did the rehearsal, I could tell people weren't quite sure how much we're going to do in the rehearsal, what are we doing in the rehearsal? Like, and I just went, I'm doing it. And I didn't say anything and I just did it. And I could feel like, because the younger women, the younger girls on the set, they felt vulnerable. Yeah. It's not just about age, it's about... Um, 
just revealing yourself, allowing yeah. yourself to be maybe imperfect. Yeah. And um, I think that's a burden we put on ourselves more than we need to. And so I sort of led the charge and I could just feel the relief then. Of, oh, yeah. well, if she's doing it, then we can all do it. Also, she's the boss, we've got no choice. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. <laughs> she's paying my bills right now, I'm getting my gear off. You kind of like forced them into getting naked, didn't you, anything about yeah, yeah, that? Yeah. But it, I think that's what the room was like when I watched it. And I went, um, Hamish and Zoe were in my screening and just before it started, Zoe said, this is a powerful one for the chicks. And I didn't, I was like, okay, cool. And then at the end of it, I was like, that is exactly what it was. It, yeah. It's so powerful. And, and I actually feel like it should be shown at all schools as well. And I just think it should be, it is kind of one that, that women need to see and men need to see as well. There was, it was like a sigh of relief when we saw the realness of it, of just going, ah, oh, it's just real. And it's, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's no. funny. It's a great story and it's funny and it's real. Yes. So you can apparently do everything. I mean, that's the, co last night we had another screening last night and people were like, that's just so funny and so funny. And I just, and it just made me feel really emotional and it's yeah. so important what you're saying. And I just love that we're kind of <laughs> ticking all these boxes for totally. people. Yeah, and it is. And we're getting yeah. into partnerships, like we've got the Butterfly Foundation coming on Great. board, and we've got the girls' schools coming on board, and we've got netball and women's football, and we've got all these great organisations coming on because it speaks to their members, yeah. nurses, and it's great because they don't have very many things that are appropriate to show. Of course, there wouldn't be, yeah. That's not some kind of, you know, sordid documentary that's yes. difficult to get through. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And, but it's the hidden messages <coughs> that I think are, are, the, are just yeah. so incredibly powerful.